Hi, welcome to the Pumpkin Decoration Showcase. I'm Mackie and I have four pumpkin decorating ideas to share to help inspire everyone for the library's upcoming Halloween events. Now, for the first pumpkin, I call this pumpkin an abandoned fairy house. I scraped out the seeds, but I left some of the stringy guts sticking out on the inner walls. I kind of wanted the inner portion of the pumpkin to look run down, dirty walls falling apart. Um, I then cut out the uh, two windows in the door. I originally was going to make a door to the side that looked fallen out, but I found that I liked not having anything there, that it just made it look more run down. After I finished carving, I wiped the edges to get some pumpkin remnants removed so that I could use some paint around the edges to kind of make it all dirty and gross. I used a shiny black paint and I really pushed it around and really spread it out before it dried and it made it look dirty. Uh, I think it turned out well. I then used hot glue to add dark pebbles and stones that looked dirty and decrepit to the door archway. I used some colorful stones and I used that with some broken edges and rough edges to add a color accent as well as I added a little bit of paint to them to make them look dirtier. I wanted to use some stones to make it look like it had at one point been nice but is now not. I found some fake moss and dried plants and glued them to the left window and in the doorway. I was trying again to make it look like these had been nice plants and that they've been left to die and decay. I then added some spiderweb gauze to the interior attaching it at the top of the pumpkin and a little bit of spiderweb poking out of both windows and I then glued some spiders all over the webbing. I think overall I think it looks like an abandoned fairy house and very Halloween. Most of my materials I picked up from the local craft store but similar houses could be made from leaves, dried twigs, dried pine needles, pine cones, basically anything you can get from outside you can dry up and glue to make a fairy house. It's a very it's very simple in its design to fill and decorate and you can use natural things or you can use some stuff from the store. Now my second pumpkin is a paper mache pumpkin. I cut Halloween fabric into two inch strips and dipped the strips in watered down Mod Podge and wrapped it around the pumpkin and then let it dry. I also cut a face out of bright orange fabric and glued that on the rest of the fabric uh, while it was drying. So I also dunked the face in the watered down Mod Podge and did the same thing so it's all stuck on the same way and it came out well. This is a really easy way of decorating a pumpkin. You can use any kind of paper strips or fabric and wrap around the pumpkin. You don't have to make a face. You can do just fun patterns. Uh, you can cut pictures and put it on there. You can use new newspapers. It's a nice way to decorate a pumpkin without needing to carve it. You can use any kind of glue as well. It just needs to be thin enough to soak into your paper or your fabric or your, or your materials and still be sticky. I used about three tablespoons of Mod Podge and I think one cup of water. Uh, I really didn't measure. I did it to look, so it should look like milk. Very white, opaque, very thin fluid. Uh, and I got my hot, I, I got my fabric from the Halloween section at my local craft store. I really like this pumpkin. Um, it's very simple, very fun to make, design. It was fun doing a pattern with the strips. And I, I preferred Mod Podge for this one. I know you could use a flour water mixture, but I wanted to ensure that this would glue, uh, when the glue dried, it would dry clear. And Mod Podge more consistently dries clear. My third pumpkin is a painted pumpkin. I used red and black paint to make a face, and I tried to spread out red paint in various spots to kind of make it look like the pumpkin had been beaten up or is a little bloody. Um, 
I'm not very good with paint, but uh, this is the best I could do with painting. I'm not very good at it. Uh, you you can just paint a face on your pumpkins instead of carving. Uh, you can also use stencils, which I found after uh, I painted my pumpkin. But you can use stencils to make something nicer. This is really good for kids who uh, you don't want using knives to carve pumpkins. You can uh, give paints or markers and have little kids paint their faces on, color their faces on, and still get that opportunity to decorate it. And I can guarantee that their pumpkins will look a lot better than my painted pumpkin. So my fourth pumpkin, well, uh, more accurately, the fourth idea is pumpkin costumes. And I thought, why do a, a big pumpkin? Why not try doing some little pumpkins? So I dressed up these little pumpkins in costumes instead of carving a larger pumpkin. I used a bunch of fabric scraps and little odds and ends I've had around the house to make these costumes. Um, so the first little costume is a princess pumpkin. It uses two different types of gauzy pink fabric, um, two different shades of gauzy pink fabric, and it uses a shiny button to kind of be a jewel in the center to hold them together. I glued glued them on the back, so you can't see where that is. So you'll there's a front and back to the pumpkins, and so it looks like it has a little pink dress and a little pink shawl with a little kind of brooch jewel button. It's very cute. Yeah, I folded the fabric to make the main dress and use an extra strip to top it for a little shawl. The second costume is a Superman pumpkin. I used blue and red fabric to make the basic soup and cape. Again, folding the, the uh, suit fabric and gluing it in the back and then tying the cape around the stem. I also cut out an S in yellow paper and glued that on the fabric. So it has his little S for his uh, symbol. Uh, the, the third costume is a mommy costume. So I took a, a very long strip of muslin and I wrapped it around the pumpkin until it was completely covered. And then added some googly eyes. I used a little bit of glue to glue the initial strip down the first edge of it and then wrapped it around and then tucked it in and made sure everything and fluffed it and made sure it was all covered and then gave it some googly eyes to make it more obvious that it was a mummy and it's all cute. Um, the fourth pumpkin is supposed to be a witch. I used leftover fabric from the paper mache pumpkin to make a dark dress and shawl. It's not as obvious, uh, but... I thought it was cute to have a like a purple lightning sparkly dark dress and then a spider web shawl for a witch. Um, so and these pumpkins are supposed to be pumpkin pie pumpkins even though they're really small. So I I went ahead and made easily removable decorations and costumes so that I could reuse the pumpkins. Uh, all four pumpkins had the fabric attached by hot glue which when it's dry, the pumpkins are slick, so you can easily scrape it off the rind. Um, so when I'm ready to make pumpkin pies later, <laughs> I can just scrape that off and go ahead and make pies out of them. So if you also want to reuse little pies, uh, little pumpkins to make pies, you need to keep that in mind when you're decorating so that you can get it off the pumpkin later. Uh, using like hot glue, uh, using things that are easily to pop off, avoiding, probably avoiding stickers, <laughs> avoiding paints, markers, unless they're washable. Or uh, you just cook the inner portion of the pumpkin fruit uh, or pumpkin squash, the, I guess, pumpkin flesh, I don't know, uh, without the rind. You just have to take off the rind, which is an extra step. So, yeah, thank you for turning in, and I hope this helped give you some inspiration for your own pumpkins.